Hello, today we are here to discuss about coronary artery disease. Coronary artery disease, also called CAD, coronary or atherosclerotic heart disease, is a serious condition caused by buildup of plague in your coronary arteries, the blood vessels that bring oxygen-rich blood to your heart. It particularly affects millions of Americans. Your arteries are smooth and elastic, but when plague builds up in their inner walls, it can make the walls stiff and narrow. This slows blood flow to your heart muscle so it doesn't get the oxygen that it requires. The plaque could also break off, leading to a heart attack or sudden cardiac death. Coming to the symptoms of coronary artery disease. The most common symptoms is angina or chest pain. People describe angina as aching, burning, fullness, heaviness, numbness, pressure, squeezing or a certain weakness or dizziness. You might mistake it for indigestion or heartburn. You usually feel angina in your chest, but you might feel it in your arms, back, jaw, neck and shoulder regions as well. Symptoms are often subtler in women. Nausea, sweating, fatigue or shortness of breath can join the typical pressure like chest pain. Other symptoms of CAD include faster palpitations, shortness of breath, sweating and dizziness. Coming to the causes and development of CAD. Experts think CAD started with damage or injury to the inner layer of a coronary artery. This damage can even happen when you're a child. Plaque can start to collect along your blood vessel walls when you're young and build up as you get older. That build up inflames those walls and raises your risk of blood clots and heart attacks. The plaque makes the inner walls of your blood vessels really sticky. Things like inflammatory cells, lipoproteins and calcium attach to the plaque as they travel through your bloodstream. More of these materials build up along with cholesterol and that pushes your artery walls out while making them narrower. Over time, a narrowed coronary artery may develop new blood vessels that go around the blockage to get blood to your heart muscle. But if you're pushing yourself or if you're stressed out, the new arteries may not be able to bring enough oxygen rich blood, oxygen blood to your heart. In some cases, when plaque breaks, a blood clot may block the blood supply to your heart muscle. This causes a heart attack. If a blood vessel to your brain is blocked, usually by a clot, you can have what is known as an ischemic stroke. If a blood vessel in your brain bursts, you might have a hemorrhagic stroke. These are usually brought on by high blood pressure. Studies have found that taking low-dose aspirin each day could help prevent heart attacks and strokes in some people who are 50 or older and those who are at risk for heart disease. Talk to your doctor, doctor about whether you should take low-dose aspirin. Coming to the risk factors for coronary artery disease. Many things can make you more likely to have CAD. Some you can change and some you can't. These include age, especially if you are older than 65 years, being overweight or obese, diabetes, family history, especially one of your close relatives has had heart disease at a young age, gender, Men have a higher risk of heart attack and have them earlier compared with those of women until the risk evens out around the age of 70. High blood pressure and high cholesterol are also major risk factors for CAD. High stress, lack of physical activity, race, especially the African-American race that are at a higher risk than people of other races because they usually tend to have a higher blood pressure. Higher rates of obesity and diabetes in some Asian and Hispanic people may also put them at a higher rate of heart disease. Smoking and lastly an unhealthy diet are also major risk factors for CAD. An unhealthy diet includes a lot of food that has high saturated fat, trans fat, salt and sugar. Please stay tuned for the next part of our video on CAD on the diagnosis, treatment and prevention. Thank you.